my crafty friends I am so happy to be here with you guys today today is the kickoff for the next round of Poet Spice Cricut slash Silhouette collaboration and the object of this collaboration is to get us crafters into using those die cut machines because we spend a lot of money on those right and sometimes they do not get used as often as should so today I am jumping on to share some little paper wands that I am making and I am using the Cricut Teddy Bear Parade um, cartridge actually it's more like I'm using it in the design space because I um, upgraded to the Cricut Explorer sometime and now everything is stored digitally <laughs> but I do love it <laughs> because it makes it super easy so now I am just gluing all of my images together and I like to start with the small stuff first because when I start with the large stuff y'all I always lose little pieces <laughs> so I start with the small stuff and then I work my way up to the bigger images so now I am adding some distress stain to my little teddy bear because I only had one color of brown paper and I wanted my teddy bear to have two tones I wanted his you know um, outer shape to be a dark brown and I wanted like his muzzle and like his little tummy to be a lighter brown so I am just going over this with some of the walnut distress ink and then I am going to layer everything and you guys this dye um, or this cartridge the teddy bears they layer really easy that's the cool thing about the Cricut machine it keeps everything you know um, the right size and it, it just makes it really easy I really enjoy using my machine when I make time to use it so I am just going to go through here and layer the little muzzle and I am then going to add the nose and the little belly and well, the cute part about this little guy is that he's going to be dressed up as Cupid. How cute is that? So, um, This little uh, die cut, there are so many different ways you can dress up your teddy bear. Um, so far I've used um, the Cupid one as I'm doing today and I've used the one um, for a birthday and it's like the little teddy bear is holding a um, he's holding a, a count I think a, a cupcake <laughs> yeah he's holding a cupcake and he has on a little red shirt and in this one he's gonna have on a toga with some wings and uh, he's gonna have a bow and arrow and I think it's really cute and even if you wanted to, you can go a step further and, you know, give your little guy a bow and make him a girl. <laughs> if you want Cupid to be a girl, I think that would be super adorable. So you can even customize it a little bit more than, you know, what the, the cartridge intends to. So now I am just going to add his little white um, robe and then I'm going to add the wings and glue down the bow and arrow and I am gluing with um, glossy accents and I am using it in a um, I don't quite know the name of this container but it makes this stuff um, flow like a breeze like I love it because at first I was trying to use it in this regular container and it kept clogging and it would um, I don't know, it, it would either like all of the glossy accents would come out at once or it wouldn't come out at all. But um, this little tool makes it a lot better. And it also allows you to be very precise with where you're putting your, um, your glue. Also, I'm using my reverse tweezers. I find that my, <laughs> my hands get in the way when I'm working with teeny tiny um die cuts because this little fella isn't that big at all he's you know actually on the, the small side and um it just helps everything out so now i have my two little teddy bears and they are ready to shoot some arrows but i'm gonna take it a step further and show you how i made the wands so this is an example of how one of the wands look and i just added him on a um a scalloped circle and added some bullion wire 
to it to give it like a little bit of bling and you guys I love bouillon wire um, it's really great I've been using it for years it's actually for floral supplies that's how I came across using it um, during my time when I would make a lot of floral arrangements but it's really great if you like that thread look where a lot of people wrap up thread and, and like make the little circles you would love this because it um, it holds a lot better and it gives you like actual metallic shine and it's to me it's easier to use than the thread because it keeps its shape a little bit better so I am just using my hot glue to um, put a good bit of glue right in the middle of there and then I am going to punch a sheet of paper and press it right on top to lock everything in place and then I'm just gonna go and get my little bear and add him to the front So for the base of my wand, for the stick, I'm using a straw and all I do is flatten like just the top part of it in my bit shop machine. I just run it through between the two plates so it'll get a little bit flat. That It just helps with um, laying down, it, it just helps with laying the paper down so that it doesn't just have that, that curved shape to it. And then I'm just going to take another little uh, punch circle and press it on there just so I can get that nice and flat. And I'm being careful so that I don't get all that hot glue on my hand. And as you can see, I failed. And um, with this one, I'm going to add some tool to it. But as you saw in the first one, I didn't do the tool. If you want the tool, then, you know, add it. If you don't want it, then just go ahead and put that back on there and it'll be done. So adding my tool, all I'm doing is kind of like bunching it up, trying to keep it in a circular shape. But as you can see, it is kind of hard because I doubled mine. You don't have to double it if your tool is um, thinner, but mine was fairly thick. And um, I'm using hot glue, so of course, um, you know, you have to be careful. I think I have completely burnt my fingertips off over the years with all the crafting. So, <laughs> um, it, it doesn't, it doesn't burn me. I guess, I, I think I got calluses on my fingertips right now. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, I do try to remember to use the paper just so I'm not sticking my, my fingers and, you know, in the glue, but yeah, um, that's me and my weirdness <laughs> but uh, I am just going around in a circle until I get this now this isn't a project that you're gonna have a even um, layer of tool it just doesn't work that way um, this is gonna be very um, you know it's just gonna be a layered look it's not gonna be neat and you know a perfect circle around so if you like perfection or you like things to look perfect this then don't add the tool just go ahead and add your back and keep it moving but I wanted to try the two different looks because I thought it would be cute and I actually end up liking it a whole lot um, and it gave me the opportunity to use up some of this tool that has been sitting in my craft room for years <laughs> so after I got my tool where I wanted it I just went ahead and added a good bit of the hot glue to the back and added my back piece on there and just kind of squished it down <laughs> just so I would get a good firm hole and then I turn it over on the front side and squish it down a little bit more. This will um, keep me from smushing my teddy bear. And then I just took my scissors and trimmed off any of the excess tool that, you know, was kind of like sticking off too far or um, I wanted it to be a little bit more rounded. And that was it. Those are my teddy bear ones. I really enjoyed this project and I hope you like it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Give me them thumbs up and leave me a comment in the section below. Also, click on my little face bubble to subscribe. I post videos four to five times a week all craft related, all fun. And also here are two videos if you want to keep watching. See you next time, bye.